someone get robbed in the subway 12 blocks away from a concert and they blame it on rap violence? Doesn't rap promote violence and worse, almost exclusively black on black violence? Yeah. Look around, man. Everything promotes black on black violence, man. That's the way of the world, G. You can get your kids a toy gun for Christmas, but we can't pose on the album cover with an Uzi, right? That's bullshit. Yeah, I'm down with some of what they're saying, man. We got a responsibility. They Stop oversold it, the club making blood money. It don't matter, Stop man. It, man. They came to see us. And when the shit came down, you were still rapping. And what was up with that? Huh? You got to think about some of this shit, yo, man. Yo, yo, yo. Where y'all been? We got three record labels calling us. We got a meeting with Parliament Records right now. We hit the motherfucking jackpot. Eight years ago, Cletus. Uh, can I call you Cletus? I just can't bring myself to refer to a grown man as I. Eight years ago, we wouldn't even release rap records. So rappers started small independent labels of their own and put them out themselves. But then they started selling thousands of records. So we absorbed the entire independent market. Cold Chillin', Next Plateau, Columbia owns Def Jam. Sony owns Columbia. Public Enemy work for the Japanese. 93% of all the music in this country is released by six companies. Think about it. Now, I'm not going to pass judgment on rap. It doesn't matter whether I like it or not. I mean, maybe you're the next Mozart. Maybe you're just a fad. Human eight tracks. What do I know? I'm just a guy in a suit. I mean, rap ain't no fad, man. It's been around for 10 years already. Maybe more. And it's not just music. It's the voice of the street. And what about the silent majority of hard-working, upwardly mobile blacks in this country? They haven't embraced you as part of their culture. But they're afraid of you. <laughs> That's because they got David Dinkins' disease. <laughs> man, if, if all you have is crumbs, man, you're going to make a bank with the crumbs. Man, those days are numbered. See, rap is, is the soundtrack of a, of a revolution. Please, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rap politics are not only simplistic, they're hilariously misinformed. I mean, all this African pride stuff that's so big now. I mean, most people thought it was a joke when Marcus Garvey was doing it 60 years ago. Oh, snap. What the fuck you know about it, man? He's sitting here dissing Marcus Garvey like he was there. Man, the history books are bullshit, man. Written by whites for whites. So the black kids would, would, would think their ancestors were slaves. See, they weren't slaves until they came here. They were kings and princes. Right, they were. You're not. <laughs> Putting on a Kenti don't make you no African prince. Oh, OK. Well, it's all, it's all right for the Jews to call themselves the chosen people, but let a black man ask for a little bit of truth to be taught in the school. You know, if you really give a shit about your heritage, why don't you do something to save it? All the Africans that are starving every single day, half of them with AIDS, you can say what you want about the American Jews, but they single-handedly keep Israel alive. Oh, no, 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 not single-handedly, uh-uh. There is a lot of South African diamond dollars being made off the backs of black men finding this way to Tel Aviv. Yeah, so how much hard cash did you give to Nelson Mandela last year? Well, if the Jews let us have some money, then maybe we could. <laughs> what book did you get that information out of? Well, I know. The same one that says Orientals are faceless, inscrutable businessmen, and all blacks are lazy, shiftless criminals, but boy, can they tap dance. No, nah, man, you wrote those books. See, we weren't allowed to learn how to write. You can't keep education as the luxury of white men for 300 years and then accuse us of teaching racism. Look, if you got a beef with the people in power, man, that's fair enough. I got the same beef, but you're talking about class struggle. Not Jew bashing. Same beef. Motherfucker, I got Gainsburger, you got filet mignon. And if you sell two million records, then you're going to make twice as much money as I do. And what's going to happen to your politics then? Look, the point isn't what I think about this. Who gives a fuck what I think, right? But right now, for whatever reason, for however long it lasts, people want to hear what you have to say. All that negative inner city bullshit, right or wrong. And I think you have what it takes to be more than just another dime a dozen rap group. I think you have what it takes to become part of the culture. Somebody that Arsenio does jokes about in his monologue. Three picture deal with TriStar, MTV guest VJ, profile on 60 Minutes. And I want to be the one to put you there. Serious, Anthony. That motherfucker wants to sign us, boy. He's the devil.
Okay. He's a devil gonna give us some big titty dollars. He ain't giving us shit. What, you, what the fuck's wrong with you? Rich. Nah, man, what is up? I'm happy, man. Haven't you ever been happy? God, I think if you ever smiled, a motherfucker's face would fall off. Now you come with all this. I ain't giving it's you shit. It's all bullshit. They can give you money and contracts, but they can't give you nothing that matters. You <laughs> one negative motherfucker. What matters? Respect. Don't chill, I. Respect is the only thing worth anything. Because it's the only thing we don't have to ask them permission for. A couple of dollars don't mean nothing. If we woke up tomorrow morning and we had all the money in the world, you can bet your weak ass they say money don't buy nothing anymore. You need cat shit now. You need cat shit to buy a house in a nice neighborhood. You need cat shit to get a cab to stop and pick you up. And then you know what? It wouldn't sell us no cats.